Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vishyanand and Fabiano Caruana. This is a game from the Sinkville Cup, played in St. Louis, United States in 2017. Vishyanand had white pieces and he started with c4, going for the English opening. e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, Knight to f3, knight to c6, g3, d5, the standard move, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, bishop to g2, reversed Sicilian dragon variation, black to move, bishop to c5 was played. The most played move is knight to b6, bishop to c5, inviting knight takes pawn on e5. Anand castle at king's side. If knight takes on e5, with the idea to win the knight on d5, if knight takes on e5, knight takes on d5, but black has knight takes on c3, and then if knight takes on c6, attacking black queen. This position was seen in 1995, in a game Raby against Winkler, black played queen to f6, and went on to win the game. After d takes on c3, black captured on f2 with the bishop, still won, but queen takes on f2 is much better. Ok, back to our game. Anand simply castled king's side. Caruana castled king's side too. d3, again, white can go for knight takes on e5. Let's a look what happens if knight takes on e5 now, because the pawn on f2 is defended by the rook. Then, knight takes on c3. If knight takes on c6, the knight takes on d1, knight takes on d8, bishop takes on f2, and black is better. But if b takes on c3, knight takes on e5, d4, bishop to d6, d takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, and it is about equal. Ok, back to our game. d3, bishop to b6, bishop to d2, bishop to g4, rook to c1, knight takes on c3, bishop takes on c3, rook to e8, defending the pawn, b4, threatening b5, queen to d6, knight to d2, queen to h6, Knight to c4, queen to h5, pressure is on the pawn on e2, rook to c2, if rook to e1, then the pawn on f2 is not defended. So we have rook to c2, rook from a to d8, knight takes on b6, and the pawn on f2 is much happier now, he can go places, like f3. c takes on b6, not a takes on b6, because with this move there is no target for the rook, for the white rook on the c-file. f3, bishop to e6, queen to d2, black to move. It looks like that Caruana was choosing on a plane here, because he played b5, this is like a pass move. He didn't like to play something like knight to d4, because Exchanges of the pieces may lead to a draw. Caruana wanted to win. So he played b5. f4. Bishop to g4. This is a very interesting moment. White can win a pawn on e5 at the cost of his very important light squared bishop. And Anand went for this variation. Bishop takes on c6. Pawn takes bishop, f takes on e5, and white is a pawn up. The question is, can black exploit the weaknesses on light squares around white king? Is Anand going to be punished for this pawn grabbing? Let's have a look. f6, daring Anand to take on f6. If e takes on f6, rook takes on e2. What would you do? Anand did his calculations and accepted the challenge. Rook takes on e2. 
attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? The best square is not available yet. An unplayed in between move. F7, check. King to F8, white to move. White is losing in all variations. Except one. Which one? What would you do? An unplayed bishop takes on g7 check, sacrificing the bishop to expose black king. King takes on g7 and now queen to c3 check, black to move. Rook to e5 was played. Surely Caruana considered queen to e5 and didn't like this continuation. Rook takes on e2, queen takes on c3, rook to e8. Queen to d4 check, rook to f2, queen takes on b4, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen. Queen takes queen, rook takes queen, rook from f takes on f8, rook takes on d3, rook to g8, check, king to f7, rook from e to f8, king to e7, rook to a8, h5, rook takes pawn on a7, and Caruana would not enjoy to play this endgame. Back to our game. Rook to e5 was played, but Caruana missed Anand's next extremely beautiful move. What is it? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? The move is Queen to d4. What a move! What a move! Queen to g5. If rook takes on d4, then pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, and white is winning. So we have queen to g5, rook to c5, rook takes on d4, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, king to g6, white play the move and black resigned. The move is queen to f7 check. Caruana resigned. King to h6 is the only move, and then rook to f6, check, and black is losing his queen. What a brilliant game. Vishanan displayed brilliant imagination and flawless calculation. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you would like me to your chess and bye for now.